And West Plain uh, Zizzer men uh, dominate, dominating fashion to earn the uh, victory here at uh, Hancock 2013. And uh, I think 28 points and uh, impressive, uh, impressive race. Tell me any extra inspiration uh, this week. I know with, with Coach's wife passing away, what is that even any more uh, inspiration to, to push you to run your even best for, for this legendary coach here? Absolutely. Definitely. Could not fail. Yeah. Miss Dixon was uh, considered the first lady of cross country in Missouri, so this race was kind of dedicated to her. It was nice. And uh, Coach, I don't think I had the, the pleasure of meeting her ever, but I know uh, with with knowing you, and I'm sure I'm sure I know the, the kind of person she she was. So tell me just what kind of a support she was for and for this the Zizzer program and all the success that, that you guys have had over the years. Well, she's just a really a great lady. Uh, she's one of my biggest. She was my biggest overachievement and uh, very supportive of myself and whatever endeavor I took on. And I'm kind of a multitasker. But uh, especially of the cross country teams, both of our sons ran on, uh, on the Zizzer team. Both of them were part of state championships in cross country and on the track. And uh, she's one of them uh, people that kind of got a party going and just uh, sat back and watched the fun. And, and she never tried to claim the spotlight herself, but she's had it this weekend. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I think you guys did her proud with uh, just 28 points. I think that, if I remember right, I think that ties the uh, ties the meet record low. And uh, let's maybe what six guys in the top eight or ten? Am I right there? Well, there's five in the top. Top eight, seven or eight. eight okay. And after that, I'm not quite sure. Every coach has kind of been the face of you know of West Plains and all the great success for the boys and girls over the years. But any any anybody have anything else to, to say about her? I feel like it brought us closer together as a team and we were able to overcome this challenge as her passing away and become closer together. Well, there's five in the top Top eight, seven or eight, eight okay. And after that, I'm not quite sure. And uh, um, obviously, uh, Coach is such a, not only a great coach, but teacher and keeping you guys humble and, uh, and always shooting to, to do your best. Tell me. Um, surely you take some satisfaction in, in earning this title and, and especially in remembrance of her. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and what's, uh, tell me just, um, any, any thoughts on, on, on her and, and just the, obviously, so obviously co every coach has kind of been the face of, you know, of, of West Plains and all the great success for the boys and girls over the years, but any, any, anybody have anything else to, to say about her? I feel like it brought us closer together as a team and we were able to overcome this challenge as her passing away and become closer together. And uh, um, it, it showed today and you guys had a, had a great job. What's, tell me uh, what's next. I know coach was just telling you to, you know, this, this isn't it. This is, isn't the ultimate goal. We've had a great day today, but we're going to keep pushing forward and looking forward. What's next for you guys and what's, what's the ultimate goal? We have a. We think we have a, a good schedule this year that's uh, planned out uh, with some uh, logical thinking. We run uh, on the other side of the state in Fayetteville, Arkansas next week, the Chili Pepper Invitational, and it's flat and fast. Yeah. And, uh, this one was hilly. And then the next week we run the Ozark Conference, and that will probably be the hilliest course we will compete on. And, yeah. Uh, probably hillier than the state course. And uh, got probably a dead week or two in there then, and then we go into state series. And uh, it's looking like our uh, district and sectional courses will be relatively flat and fast courses. And then uh, most of these guys know the state course. And uh, we know that we have to be in hip top shape and still be hungry and uh, not be over raced and sure. things like that. And is this the first time you guys have been, obviously with Chili Pepper moving back a week, is this the first time and, and probably maybe you were in class three a couple times when you didn't have the, the longer state series that you, you since then, you've when gotten we, to be there? Yes sir, when we dropped to class 
class three, uh, I felt like there was too big a gap between sure. races. And uh, Chili Pepper is just a great experience like this. For us, we can come up here and uh, do some educational things sometimes the day prior. And uh, so Chili Pepper is a unique event too. And yeah. Uh, so, we, you know, we, we like to peak at the state meet and, and we think we have a, 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 a um, admirable record up there. But uh, that's not our only goal. Sure. I mean, there's a lot more to learn in cross country and uh, these guys are bonded to each other for life. They'll never forget each other and in a lot of cases where we go. And so places like Hancock and Chili Pepper for West Plains uh, are great experiences. Yeah, yeah. With all the success that West Plains has had over the years, you guys don't know if, for, for whatever reason, the, the Gatorade bath has come to my mind. Coach hasn't, uh, you guys haven't celebrated with Coach with any kind of a, uh, any after meet or, or, or uh, after a race win with any kind of a, a uh, celebration with Coach, any, any chance, huh? Or is, is, that, is that too scary to try out? Uh, it's a little scary. scary to try out. Keep it up and stay healthy, guys. Thank you.